SVG! Game of Bloody Thrones. Bro took his hand and hung it around his neck real quick. I'm eating a little pineapple. I'm on a cut. All right. I'm just eating a little pineapple. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I am eating the early reaction. You think we could shove up his ass? Depends if he's had any practice. Is that the sort of thing you... You know, Jamie literally saved Brienne. The first good deed he really does, or that we've really seen him do, he saved her. And then he got his arm chopped off. That's so sad. Not sad. I'm just saying I would be sad if I was him. I don't think it's sad because he's a general piece of shit. You know, whatever happens to him, happens to him. He would do this shit to literally anybody else and he wouldn't give two f***s about it, you know? And they're talking shit and saying they can shove it up your ass. I would be... I would just, yeah, I'd be like him. I just want, I just want to die, bro. Oh, and he's in, in mud. Oh my God, dude. He's getting the worst. He's getting the worst series of events. I've seen a character go through in a long time. I've ever seen a man drink horse piss that fast. That was horse piss. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, dude! I can't, he, he drank so much piss. He's a piss fucking guzzler, brother. How do you not realize he didn't taste it? He was in there. Oh my god, and he's getting jumped and clowned. God damn. A fate worthy of Jamie. I wish nothing but the best on him, brother. This is the best in my opinion, by the way. This is terrible. And this, that is an orange slice. Let me eat that. Do that again. And I'll take your other hand. God damn. I'm surprised he didn't just take the other hand. Got the events of the Blackwater. Perhaps this is the wrong time. Oh no, it's a wonderful time. <laughs> But one of you little birds might have knowledge of my sister's intentions to end your life. Indeed. Indeed. Fingers spies along with his position, I'm afraid. Which is why I'm coming to you. I need proof. I have no proof. Only whispers. I was going to tell you the story of how I was cut. Do you want to hear it still? I don't know. Do I? As a boy, I traveled with a troop of actors through the free cities. Mm -hmm. One day, in Mir, a certain man made my master an offer too tempting to refuse. I feared the man meant to use me, as I'd heard some men used small boys. But what he wanted was far worse. Oh. He gave me a potion that made me powerless to move or speak, yet did nothing to dull my senses. Oh. With a hooked blade, he sliced me, root and stem. Oh. All the while. He burned my parts in a brazier. Oh my Flames God. And I heard a voice answer his call. God damn, what in the f brother? I still dream of that night. Not of the sorcerer. And people make fun of this guy because he doesn't have balls. Imagine being literally tortured alive with these magical potions doling not your senses but your ability to move and then just getting literally like that thrown in your face every single second for your entire life and you're known as a eunuch i literally learned what a eunuch was because of him before i watched this show i didn't know what a eunuch was poor bears bro not of the sorcerer not of his blade not of his blade I dream of the voice from the flames. Was it a god? The Even flames? Conjurer's trick? I don't know. But the sorcerer called and a voice answered. And ever since that day, I have hated magic and all those who practice it. But you can see why I was eager to aid in your fight against Stannis and his red priest. Mm. A symbolic revenge of sorts. I see. For actual revenge. Against the actual person who tried to have it might be working though, which will require a degree of influence. Which because the flame shit might be real, the flame voices. What the I don't really get it. Once I had served the sorcerer's purpose, he threw me out of his house to die. 
I resolved to live, to spite him. I begged. I sold what parts of my body remained to me. I became an excellent Damn. thief. Damn. And soon learned that the contents of a man's letters were more valuable than the contents of his purse. Damn. Step by step. One distasteful task after another. Got his way to the top. Way from the slums of Mir to the small council chamber. Man, influence grows like a weed. I tended mine patiently until its tendrils reached from the Red Keep. Bro played that long game. Far side of the world where I managed Bro stretched. Very special. Until he got what? What did he get? Sorcerer. Hello. I the sorcerer. Oh, we got the sorcerer who. F oh shit! The revenge you want will be yours in time if you have the stomach for it. Oh my God! I want to know what the fuck he's about to do to him, and I hope it is much, 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 much worse than what that sorcerer did to Varus when Varus was a kid, because that bro deserves a little. A little bit, a little bit of interest on top of it, brother. This crust has been out here, surviving. So he's your protector now. Our good friend Cruster. Cruster's a piece of shit too. Moment isn't gonna save you. This lumbix here isn't gonna save you. When the walkers come calling, Cruster will serve us up like so many pigs. If we want to live, we'll have to look out for ourselves. What about killing Cruster? Hey, I'm down for killing that piece of shit too, bro. Let's get him gone. Let's get that daughter out of here, brother. Does he have a name? No. Are you going to give him one? Why? Give him. He said to hold it for you until he came back. You're back. Thank you. I don't want your stupid thimble. No. I want to save my baby's life. Can you do that? I don't have time for you. Damn. I don't have time for anyone but him because he doesn't have much time. Mm, he is about to die. You gotta give her that. Little bro is about to perish. Oh, that was loud. The dreams. You have to go after him. Oh, he's here. You know how. Brandon. What the? I told you. Catelyn. No climbing. I thought I need to oh God. Here. Promise me. No more climbing. Promise me. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, 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 shit. God damn. Dude, nightmares are fucking horrifying. Is he very large? No larger than usual, apparently. And yet they said that he was extraordinary. Extraordinary. Extraordinary man they've ever had. Damn. Lots of men. We're talking about the same Podrick. Podrick gives a dick, bro. His game. I was, we weren't aware of his game. Prodigies appear. Prodigies. Places. And what did Littlefinger say about this loss of income? He was too preoccupied to notice. He's leaving for the evening. Yeah, he ain't got much he left here, brother. This journey. Ah, yes, to pursue his enduring love of Lady Aaron. Shirt change. We're back. We are so back. Sad, really. Is that all it takes to make our friend lose interest in poor Sansa Stark? He hasn't spoken to her since the last time, as far as I know. But I don't think he's lost interest. Mmm. The shipboard inventory. You can read rare for a woman in your profession. That profession? Of course. Former. I'm missing something. She doesn't anywhere? Obvious you're about to point out. Two feather beds. He's bringing two feather beds for the cabin. Two beds for the cabin? The bed besides Littlefinger. Could mm. he be bringing one of his girls? He's not interested in them, my lord. How do you know? Because I am one of his girls. The, the girls know. Rhaenyra Targaryen was murdered by her brother, or rather, his dragon. It ate her while her son watched. Damn! <laughs> What's left of her is buried in the crypts right down there. 
Holy shit. I want to know more about I want to know more about this the history. That's fucking wild. Over there in that land, the ashes of Aryan Targaryen. Aryan Targaryen. He thought drinking wildfire would turn him into a dragon. <laughs> he was wrong. And of course, there's the mad king killed by my uncle. No yo daddy, brother. Knowing it's his biological father that lost his hand it makes it even better. Like I don't know, it just it's just a little justice. I don't know, cause that like Jamie is the reason his genes were passed on to Joffrey. That's why Joffrey is like that. My father didn't want them here. He was going to have their bodies burned and mm. thrown in the black water, but the High Septon convinced him otherwise. I'm glad he did. I'm sorry, Your Grace. I know they did terrible things at the end, but their ancestors built this. Pretty incredible. I love seeing like real history like that. Couldn't agree more. Bro is so in love with her, but only because so she is playing exactly to what he wants. If you give them your love, because she's smart enough to return it a thousandfold. I've spoken with them. I know how they feel about you. Oh, he is. Led the defense of King's. He's Lord. considering it. They adore you. Is she setting him up for success or failure, though? Is it on her if he does or not? We'll see. Open the doors. Oh shit! Oh! Joffrey. Did you see the eyes cutting? They love Lady Marjorie. Which means they love King Joffrey too. He's like, wait a minute. I'm not used to praise. I'm used to being shit on. How far is it to deep the mot? Not far, my lord. I did what they told me and waited for the right moment. Why would you risk your life for me? I grew up on Saltcliff, my lord. I was only when they took you away. My mm. father brought me and my brothers up to the bluff so we could watch the ship that carried you off. My sister's men are loyal to her. We don't need to hide from them. Not all those your sister's men. Some of them are loyal to your father. So if they're going, yep, yeah, they're going against his father, then I guess. <laughs> I thought his sister was with his father. My father told Yara to take this place. He didn't trust me. Thought I was a Stark. I could never be a Stark. Rob Stark always reminded me of that. He loaded it early. Didn't have to. All he had to do was be. Oh. Be who he was born to be. All he had to do was exist. His life fitting better than his clothes. My father gave me a choice. And I made it. Is he in real now? I am born. I was born to be. Made the iron price for him to fall. Murdered those boys. They aren't even dead. Stark boys. He thought he did. Never found them. Just some poor orphans living with a farmer. Oh, those boys. Oh, right. I let Dagma slit their throats. I let him burn the bodies. He didn't even do it. So I could keep Winterfell. Make my father proud. Maybe it's not too late. He chose wrong and he got fucked over by both ends. So now what? My real father lost his head at King's Landing. Damn. I made a choice. And I chose wrong. Damn. I everything down. That's real. He just called Ned his real father. I mean. Yara. Brought him back. He, he killed the others. What? No, I didn't. You can't. What? Uh, please stop. Oh, shit. Uh, Put him back where he belongs. He brought him right back here? What the fuck? Uh, what? <laughs> they all just got fucking played. <laughs> Again. Holy fuck, dude. I got played. I thought he was fully for his sister, Yara. No, he wasn't. Okay. God damn! Holy shit, bro! What are you doing? I'm dying. You can't die. You need to live. To take revenge. I don't care about revenge. Your misfortune is giving up. Misfortune. Misfortune. You lost your hand. 
My sword hand. I was that hand. Oh, I was his sword hand too. We have a taste. Right. A taste of the real world. Where people have important things taken from them. And you whine and cry and quit. You sound like a bloody woman. Damn! The misogynist has logged the fuck on! Bro, took a bite after that one. I know what you did for me. You told them Tarth was full of sapphires. It's called the Sapphire Isle because of the blue of its water. It wasn't even true. Not, be not because of sapphires. Why did you help me? You wanted to speak to me. Yes, about Jamie. What about him? I wanted to make sure we're doing everything we can to get him back. Her baby daddy. When Catelyn Stark took Tyrion prisoner, what did I do in response? You started a war. Well, if I would start a war for that lecherous little stump, what Jesus do you think I'm doing for my eldest son and heir? By the straight. You can. Whatever I can. You're still here. Yes. <laughs> and unexpectedly. <clears throat> Did it ever occur to you that I might be the one who deserves your confidence and your trust, not your sons? Did it ever occur to you that your daughter might be the only one listening to them, living by them? Damn! That she might have the most to contribute to your legacy. Damn! You love so much more than your actual children. Damn! She is pissed. All right. Contribute. The Tyrells are a problem. The Tyrells helped us defeat Stannis Baratheon. The Tyrells saved your life, your children's lives. Marjorie has her claws in Joffrey. It's true. She knows how to manipulate him. Good. It is true. I wish you knew how to manipulate him. <laughs> I don't distrust you because you're a woman. I you can get control you over him. You're not as smart as you think you are. Damn! I'm going to ride roughshod over you and everyone else in this city. You're not as smart as you think you are. You should try stopping him from doing what he likes. Mmm. Yeah, it's so easy. You do it. I will. Let's see it. He's gonna stop. He's gonna say no to Joffrey. Tell him no. You can't have what you want. Growing strong. The dullest words of any house. She just called roses boring. I just planted some roses in my front lawn. Lawn. Look, little loves. Varus. Spider in the garden. Run along now. Grow strong. My lady. I wanted to personally welcome you to King's Landing. The city has been made brighter by your presence. The city is made brighter by my presence. Is that your usual line, Lord Varys? Huh. Are you here to seduce me? Hell yeah! A little obvious, perhaps. Oh, no, please. No, please. It's, away. it's been so long. Home? Oh. I rather think it's all for naught. What happens when the non-existent bumps against the decrepit? Oh. Question for the philosophers. It's Isn't fucked up. Mincing all this way for something. So? Might I sit? No. It's Come fucked on. up. I've heard you're such a clever man. <laughs> you sort me out. You've taken an interest in Sansa Stark. Have I? Because I spoke to her once in this garden and one of your little spies came running to tell you. Why shouldn't I take an interest? She's an interesting girl. Is she? No, not particularly. <laughs> She's no, not really. She's an interesting childhood. She has, sadly. Walk with me. I know the walls have ears, but apparently the shrubbery does too. The shrubbery does. My allies carefully. And my enemies more carefully still. Which is Sansa Stark? Neither. A babe in the woods. A babe in the I woods. Her father. Yes. You're not the only one who has taken an interest in her. My boy Baelish. Hardly surprising. She's a beautiful girl with a famous name. Indeed. She'd make a lovely match for the right suitor. It almost feels as if you're about to arrive at the point. <laughs> the capital. A confidant of mine has told me that when he goes, Sansa Stark goes with him. Littlefinger was born with no lands, no wealth, no armies. He has acquired the first two. How long before he has the army? But I know him better than most, and this is the truth. Littlefinger is one of the most dangerous men in Westeros. Damn! If Robb Stark falls, Sansa Stark is the key to the North. 
And if Littlefinger marries her, he'll have the key in his pocket. Which seems such a shame. Why should a man with such a low reputation steal away such a lovely bride? <laughs> you must despise him. You're working so hard to undermine him. Actually, I rather enjoy him. But he would see this country burn if he could be king of the ashes. Damn! You're a clever man, Lord Varys. You are too kind. I believe I have a possible solution. So he wants to marry Sansa? A solution! Sansa's just a girl. She's just a girl whose dad perished. I didn't mean to disturb you. You haven't. My cousin Alana was the most beautiful girl I'd ever seen. When I was 12, I was all elbows and knees, and Alana looked like a goddess sent to torture me. Pig face, she called me. <laughs> Pig face? That's ridiculous. I think it had something to do with my nose. Whenever she passed me in the halls, she'd oink. That is fucked up. So I prayed that she'd catch a horrible skin disease. A week after that, she came down with porridge plague. Uh, porridge plague? Literally prayed on her downfall. Your skin starts to look like boiled oats, and eventually your face lights off and you die in agony. God damn. That's awful. You're... I believed you. Oh, never mind. Porridge plague, I'm an idiot. Don't say that. No, you're not. I thought that all existed in the Game of Thrones. Man, fuck! I'm sure she's jealous of you now. You'll be married here in the capital, and she'll have to come watch and pretend to be happy that you're queen. <laughs> I want us to be friends. Good friends. That would make me very happy. You must see High Garden. You'd love it there, I know you would. We have a great masquerade the night of the Harvest Moon. You should see the costumes. People work on them for months. Uh, I don't think the queen would let me. So if what they said about Sansa is true in that she's going to be the king to the north if Rob Stark falls, is that why Marjorie is trying to keep Sansa so close in case that happens, they'll have Sansa in their pocket instead of Baelish? Everybody's trying to get Sansa right now? Because I was thinking about it while, while they were talking, I was thinking really hard about it. And like, why Marjorie? Marjorie is like fighting Cersei, the previous queen, because she's going to become the new queen. And I was like, damn, it's like Cersei. And then what um, Tywin said about Cersei is like, you're not as smart as you think you are. And she is playing Joffrey perfectly in a way that Cersei doesn't think. I think she could become the new Cersei. And she's starting to lay the traps. She's starting to plant the seeds for it. I mean, I don't know if I'm thinking too hard about it, but like, it seems like she is doing what Cersei wishes she could do, and that is control Sansa, befriend them, control, like it's keep your friends close, your enemies closer, you know? Because why is she being so friendly? This, the, the, the so friendliness is like throwing me off. Like, why do you want to be her friend? Once I marry Joffrey, I'll be queen. And if you were to marry Loras... That's where it comes in. Oh, your place would be at Highgarden, wouldn't it? We would be sisters, you and I. Would you like this? Unless I read in that, I, unless I read too far into that, like I overcooked and the entire kitchen is burnt down. It's all, it's all ashes. You know, I'm the king of the ashes. I'm the king of the kitchen. That was either perfect prediction theory, or that was dog ass. Because now she kind of, she's kind of convincing. She seems genuine to Sansa, but you don't really know her true intentions. You know. You never know somebody's true intentions. I feel betrayed all the time in this show. Good ranger. He came to us from... Where did he come from? <laughs> Don't know. Down way all the way. Never failed in his duty. He kept his vows... No, 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 no. ...rode far. Fought fiercely. It wasn't his foot that killed him. That bastard Craster starved him to death. Craster's got his daughters to face. You on his side. Oh, he's he starved. He's he starved. Watch, not save. The day we leave, Craster will tap a barrel of our wine, sit down to a feast of hammer potatoes, and laugh at us, starving in the snow. I mean, yeah. I don't like Craster as much as the next guy because of his um. Because of who he is and what he does, you know, obviously, like most people don't like people who are like that. He's entitled to his own food. Like 
he's out here harvesting his own, like make, making his food, killing his pigs, growing his potatoes, making his ham, brother. He's doing that shit alone. You chose to go to the Night Watch and go on a mission, get shitted on, and then want his food. And now you're jealous. Yeah, like you're jealous of his food. He's a bloody wildling's all he is. Like, bro. Damn, they all starving. Like, the dude smell good. Obviously, he ain't thinking straight because he's hungry, but I think the guy ever thinks straight anyway. Me? I'll be glad when you and yours have gone as soon as our wounded are strong enough. They're as strong as they can again. Them that's dying. You cut their throats to be done with it. Jesus. Don't leave them if you've not the stomach. And I'll sort them myself. Whose throat are you going to cut, old man? Damn. Wait outside. It's cold outside. Damn. There's nothing to eat. My wives give you bread. The sawdust in the bread. I'd rather eat what you've got hidden away. Oh, shit. I gotta feed my women. So you admit you've got a hidden larder then? How else you make it through winter? Enough! Damn. Out. I am a godly man. You're a stingy bastard. Damn. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, shit! It's all good shit! And you, and you. I mean, a bunch of starved men. Chop the hands off the next man who calls me bastard. Somebody call him bastard, please. You are a bastard. Yeah! <laughs> oh! Take it out the trash, brother. Taking out the trash. Don't do it to the girl, yeah. Oh! Oh, what the fuck? Oh, damn. Where did he stab him at? What's his, what was his name? Like fucking rat or some shit? That guy is formerly. That guy is forever known as fuck ass motherfucking rat. His name is Rast. Cut out the S, brother. Like you got a lisp. It's rat now. All right. Fuck him. His name is Rat. He stabbed his own commander in the back. That is scummy as hell, bro. Fuck that guy, though. Get shit on. I don't really care. Oh, man. Rip, bro. Man, the commander is such a good dude, too. Seemed like it. What a fucking rat. Oh my god. What's happening? Jesus. We have to go. Now! The Night's Watch is completely like that was the commander. The Night's Watch is completely like disbanding now. The entire coup. Holy fuck. I mean the Night's Watch didn't stand a chance anyway, because the wildlings are coming. Run fast, piggy! Um Oh, rat was going for Sam. Nah, rat gotta die, bro. You look like a bunch of swine herds. Some of you think carrying a crooked spear makes you a soldier? No. Fighting in a war makes you a soldier. Beric Dundarian. Beric Dundarian. In better days, and I won't see them again. Who's that? Who's his bro? Deserters. Baratheon Stark deserters, Baratheon deserters. Which deserters? No matter whose cloak you wear. Lannister, Stark, Baratheon. You pray in the weak. The Brotherhood without banners will hunt you down. You Damn. Is that it? I. I've been reborn in the light of the one true. In the light of the one true God. Have we all? You mean to murder me, then bloody well get on with it. You'll die soon enough, dog. I want to see the things they claim to see. At the Mummers Ford, girls of seven years were raped. Jesus. Still on the breasts were cut in two while their mothers watched. I wasn't Jesus. At the Ford. Dump your dead children at some other door. House the game was built upon dead children. I saw them lay Prince Egon and Princess Rhaenys before the Iron Throne. Do you take me for my brother? Is being born Clegane a crime? Murder is a crime. I never touched the Targaryen babes. I never saw them. Never smelled them. Never heard them bawling. You want to cut my throat? Get on with it. 
But don't call me murderer and pretend that you're not. You murdered Micah, the butcher's boy. Micah. He was 12 years old. He was unarmed. And you rode yep. him down. You slung him over your horse like he was some deer. Damn. Oh, he was a bleeder. Damn. Why can I killing this boy? I was Joffrey's sworn shield. The boy attacked the prince. That's a lie. I hit Joffrey. Not my place to question princes. You stand accused of murder. But no one here knows the truth of the charge. So it is not for us to judge you. Damn. The Lord of Light, we do that now. The Lord of Light. All right. I oh, bro, we'll take care of that. Trial by combat. Trial by combat? No! Who will it be? Should we find out if your fire guard really... The Hound is strong as fuck. He's going to win, probably. But it's me you'll fight. Mmm. Let's see it. This 1v1? Yo. Oh, come on, brother. I wanted to see that. They always got to tease and then cut it off. But I don't want to see that fight. I've got, I forgot bro's name already. The banners are no banner. Banner men with no banner. Scenarios be acquiring slaves and whatnot. And who knows? In 10 years, some of the boys you send them may be unsullied in their turn. Bro, why? As all shall prosper. The cycle of slavery continues, brother. I don't think she's very interested in perpetuating this cycle, though. She's pretty girl boss and anti this stuff. She's just got to use it for now to to get what she wants. If I'm reading the vibes correctly. Although giving away this big ass dragon is something I am not I am not vibing with. She's the mother of dragons. No way she's going to give away the dragon. That's her baby. You can't claim you're a mother and then give him away a Give him away? Is it done then? They belong to me. Tindas lusa certida. Certida. This is done. Bello, she killed me. You hold the whip. Doa Gadis. She did know the language? Pretty good. Pretty good command. Listen pretty well. Brother, she is. She's fluent! Valerian. The, old, the blood of old Valeria. Valerian is my mother tongue. Oh, yeah, but. She understood every single thing he said when he was insulting the absolute shit out of her. This brother's about to perish. Slay the soldier, slay every man who holds a whip. Harm no child. God damn. Rip. Rip. <laughs> bro, getting out of the damn chart list, brother. Oh, man, getting nice and toasty. Everybody getting... Oh, damn. Damn, that little dragon's so tiny, but look how much. Could produce some flames now. My brother got charred. Fucked. <laughs> All that shit talk. All that shit talk, brother. Landed him on the chart list. Wrap it up. Daenerys just overthrew this this entire like kingdom. What well, not kingdom? I guess more like a city. Valerian, old Valerian blood. Intriguing. Today you are free. That's their solution to get them and allow them to be free or not. They poking their sticks. Poking their sticks. Yo. Huh. 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 That basically means they fuck with you and they are ride or die for real. That's her and gang. They got an army now. Daenerys is about to turn the fuck. Up, uh, brother, she got three dragons, an unsullied army. Dude, look how look at her army. Oh my god. Holy shit, and her dragons. 
Dude. Dude. There is so much brewing. This is about to become the clash of... It's about to become a massive clash. Hold the clan, brother. But not even the clan, because there's a lot of clans, too. Like, the Daenerys clan was, was getting all together. Where Jon Snow is with the Wildling, they're all getting ready to overthrow the wall. But those guys are also having a... Like, dude, everything as we know it, the entire world as we know it, is literally changing. And everything that's been set up is actually happening. It's all coming together, brother. You can see, it's like a, it's like you're on the damn... You're on a damn beach looking at a tsunami, like, 100 miles out. You're like, oh, shit. Like, I know it's coming, but, like, my ass is kind of fucked. I see all these people... All these people getting war ready. Like, there's even talks of Baelish. Varys is saying if Baelish gets an army, like, his ass is going to be the most dangerous man in Westeros. Like, there is so much potential. Like, everybody's like, I don't know where that shit's going. Anybody could die. Anybody could make it to the top. And that is the beauty of Game of Thrones. Because I really don't know who the main character is. So, that's it. Thank you for watching episode four. Hope you'll have a good one. What do I mean by one? A good what? A good day. Goodbye.